Today we're going to do our second example of calculating a confidence interval for one population mean. Our second example is looking at the average number of home runs hit by MLB switch hitters in the 2015 season. So the first step of calculating a confidence interval, remember, is to identify your population. So here our population is going to be all um, MLB switch hitters in the 2015 season. The sample then is going to be the 44 MLB switch hitters from from the 2015 season. And one thing that I add that the textbook doesn't is the use of defining the parameter. So our parameter here is mu. And we're going to define it as mean. So mu is a population mean, so we start with mean. Then we'll state the variable that we're measuring. So here it's going to be mean number of home runs hit and then we'll state our population. And as we showed above, our population is going to be the MLB switch hitters in the 2015 season. So mu equals mean number of home runs hit by all MLB switch hitters for the 2015 season. Then if you remember our assumption about the sampling distribution for the sample mean X bar has to be that um, we assume the sampling distribution has a normal distribution. And then to check those conditions, essentially it's connected to the number of outliers or um, how big your sample size is or what the original population's shape is. So here n is equal to 44. That's a decent size and it's assumed that this distribution of data wouldn't have any extreme outliers or really outliers at all. And so because of that, we're going to say that our conditions are met. conditions are making sure that the sampling distribution of X bar is a normal distribution or that we can make that assumption. So if your conditions are met, the assumption that's stated in step two is valid. So then the first thing that we need to do when we are calculating our confidence interval is to calculate X bar. So here X bar is given for us. So I'm reminding you of it from the top of the page. So X bar equals 18.23. Next, you'll find your T star multiplier. So we will have to base that on the number of degrees of freedom. We have an N equal to 44. So we will have 43 degrees of freedom. And we are going to have a 90% confidence level. So using the table, we're going to use the 40 degree of freedom row because we have 43 as our degrees of freedom. And then we wanted to use the 90 as our confidence level. So we'll be in the second column. So I need to find the intersection between my 90 and the 40. So I have a T star of 1.68. So now the next thing that we need to do is to calculate standard error to do that we are going to use the formula s divided by the square root of n. So from the top of the page, s is 
So that's my numerator. We also know that n is equal to 44, so my denominator is the square root of 44. So that gives me a standard error equal to 55. Five. So then we'll calculate margin of error. And remember, margin of error is t star times standard error. So we have a t star of 1.68 and a standard error that we just calculated equal to 0.55. So I come up with a margin of error equal to 0.92. Now we can calculate the confidence interval, which takes x bar, so we have 18.23 and then it adds and subtracts the margin of error. So here I come up with a lower bound, so do your subtraction first, equal to 17.31, and then an upper bound, so that's where you add the margin of error to the mean of 19.15. So this is the calculation of the confidence interval. Now we're going to do our interpretation. So we start with how confident we are. Here we want it to be 90% confident. So we are 90% confident. We state our parameter definition, which remember we wrote up in step one. So we'll say um, we are 90% confident. So we'll say we're 90% confident the mean number of home runs hit by MLB switch hitters and switch hitters in the 2015 season is between 17.31 and 19.15. So that's the end of our instruction on confidence intervals for one population mean.